This video is brought to you by BetUS Sportsbook and Casino. The Dallas Cowboys have a surprise star at NFL preseason. So we're going to be going through that and three other stories in today's video. So make sure to like this video. And if you want more Dallas Cowboys news content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that red button down below. The first story is that Trey Lance looks like a promising player after preseason. Nearly a calendar year since his last field action and Trey Lance made his Dallas Cowboys debut Saturday against the Los Angeles Rams. The former number three overall pick with the San Francisco 49ers in 2021 and Lance was traded last August to the Cowboys for a fourth round pick but did not play a snap in 2023. Taking over for Cooper Rush after one drive, Lance completed 21 out of 41 passes for 188 yards while not throwing a touchdown pass or interception. He was stacked with three times and he also ran six times for a team high of 44 yards in the Cowboys 13-12 last second loss. I'd hope just to step back in and be ready to go, Lance said. I mean, yeah, it's been a year, but that's never going to be an excuse at all. I've had a ton of snaps in practice throughout and training camp, so yeah, just excited for next week. Six of the eight drives Lance directed went for at least eight plays, but he could not get the Cowboys in the end zone. Instead, they had to settle for three Brandon Aubrey's four goals. Try to get as much as I can with him, Coach Mike McCarthy said. You want to see him running the offense at a high level. The footwork and some of the things we're asking him to do conceptually are new. We just need to work. We just had as much time as we can, and I know I say that every time, and I talk to him, but he's making good progress. He's definitely wired the right way. He's a great athlete, just a lot of work to do. Lance wasn't far away from at least two touchdown throws, and he missed a golden chance for another in the fourth quarter with tight end Princeton Fint running uncovered. On his first drive, Lance had the Dallas Cowboys at the Rams three, but his fade pass in the corner of the end zone was just out of reach of Jalen Cooper. In the fourth quarter, he overthrew Cam Johnson, who had a step on the defensive back on a deep ball. He saw how open Fint was on sideline review with offensive coordinator Brian Schottmeyer after the series. It was one of those things, was a little head of to it with the feet and corner played a little in between, Lance said. Honestly, on the field, I thought I should have just went back to quicker and there's plays like that across the board and that happens. That's one of these things you learn from. Don't make the same mistake twice. Lance was victimized by four drops, but he was also high on several throws that did not give his pass catches much of a chance after the reception. Still, McCarthy liked enough of what Lance did. I really liked his command, McCarthy said. Frankly, I tried to take advantage of every situation that we're in. So those fourth down snaps, those will pay dividends in the future. I do believe that. Lance was not pleased with the offense could take advantage of four interceptions from the Dallas defense, including one that set up the Cowboys at the Rams 23. In five plays, the Cowboys lost by 11 yards and had to rely on Aubrey's 52-yard field goal. We put up some 10, 11 play drives together. Just sucks that we didn't finish them, Lance said. I've got to get better in that area, in the red zone and low red zone. Lance will get another chance next week against the Las Vegas Raiders, and Dak Prescott, who sat out last Friday's practice with ankle soreness, said he is fine and will do everything when the Cowboys return to practice Tuesday. But he has not played in the preseason since McCarthy became coach in 2020. Rush is still in the lead to be Prescott's backup, but Lance is guaranteed $5.3 million this season in the final year of his rookie contract. I'm excited to watch the tape, Lance said. I think that's the biggest part of it. But yeah, I think I left some plays out there for sure across the board from the first quarter to the fourth. We get the four extra possessions and we don't score touchdowns. That's not a good feeling. The second story is Cowboys star Micah Parsons teases break from football. Dallas Cowboys star Micah Parsons was inspired by the Olympic spirit as the Paris Games concluded. And now the standout defender is looking for a way to compete when the next games roll around. Parsons was paying close attention to the Olympic happenings, commenting on social media about the action. But next time, he wants to be a part of it. I need to find a way to get into the Olympics by 2028. What events y'all think I can do? Need ideas, Parsons tweeted. Parsons later added, after 2027, I'm going to take a break from football to prepare for the Olympics. Parsons was recommended to try everything from rugby to breakdancing. 
However, the most logical route would be flag football, which will be included in the 2028 games in Los Angeles. No need to take a break, just be the roster and flag football former NFL quarterback turned analyst Robert Griffin III responded. Most important position on the team, you have speed and are agile, it's perfect for you. Back in reality, Parsons is eyeing a massive extension with the Cowboys. Parsons has notched 40.5 sacks in three years and is one of the most impactful defensive players in the league. Parsons is officially under contract through the 2025 season. The Cowboys exercise a fifth year option for Parsons in April, however their pressure on the Cowboys to get a long term deal done sooner than later with Parsons. The problem is that Dallas has other key contracts to figure with quarterback Dak Prescott and receive CD Lamb who is currently holding out. Understandably, the Cowboys have more pressing business with Prescott and Lamb but before driving all the way into Parsons pool, but there could be a significant cost in waiting. Parsons price tag could rise, especially if he delivers another healthy, productive season. Jeff Ho of The Athletic reported on August 8. Parsons aims to be the highest paid non-quarterback in the league, setting his sights on surpassing the $35 million per year earned by Minnesota Vikings receiver Justin Jefferson. I'm patient. Patience is a virtue, Parsons said, via Clarence Hill of the Fort Worth Star-Telegram. I'm waiting my turn, let CD get, go get whatever, and let Dak Prescott go get whatever as well. This market is going to just jump up, and the cap goes up again every year. Then talking about these contracts might for a cal caliber player might be up to 40 million by then. Parsons has established a high standard over his first three seasons, accumulating impressive stats and accolades. This offseason, he faced the challenge of learning a new defensive system after Dan Quinn's departure. Now, under Mike Zimmer's leadership, Parsons is finding his stride and feeling at home in the revamped unit. Yeah, it's pretty much over and I'm in rhythm now, Parsons said on Monday, August 5. The first few days, I haven't even played in 7 or 8 months. I mean, I know my angles, I feel like I'm in week 4 right now, I'm in rhythm, there's nothing they can do. They might as well start chipping, sliding, or it's going to be a very long day. If they don't chip, there will be 5, 6 sacks every single day, and it's pretty much over. I'm going to tell you right now, this is what it's going to keep looking like. Parsons and the Cowboys opened the regular season on September 8 against the Cleveland Browns. So before we get into the next story, here's a quick word from our sponsor BetUS from Michael Vick. Michael Vick at BetUS.com. Catch an incredible 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits plus 10% gambler's insurance. BetUS, my online sports book and casino. The third story is that C.D. Lamb faces renewed pressure to reach an agreement with the Cowboys on a new contract. C.D. Lamb is one of NFL's top receivers, but if you ask him, he isn't being paid like it. Amid record contract extensions from other athlete wideouts this summer, such as A.J. Brown, Justin Jefferson, to name a few. Now, when it comes to Lamb has been waiting for the Dallas Cowboys to compensate him as one of the top offensive players in football. Cowboys owner Jerry Jones has taken time in working out a new deal for Lamb. Given the Cowboys salary cap crunch and the franchise's need to clearly define the futures of quarterback Dak Prescott and edge rusher Micah Parsons. With a blockbuster trade looking like a remote possibility, the clock is ticking as Lamb seeks a raise from his modest rookie contract. Hard to imagine Lamb won't sign a new contract. ESPN NFL insider Adam Schefter told Pat McAfee on Monday that he finds it hard to imagine. Jones and Cowboys will let Lamb hit week one of the 2024 season without an extension in place. Lamb has been holding out training camp amid his ongoing contract dispute, but given the uncertainty around Prescott's future in Dallas, it is essential that Cowboys lock in Lamb for the foreseeable future. Lamb set personal best last season with 135 receptions, 1,749 receiving yards, and 12 touchdowns to help the Cowboys win the NFC East and the conference's number two seed. Despite a deeply disappointing wild card round exit to the Green Bay Packers, the Cowboys have made it clear that they believe they are in contention window, making the hesitation to extend Lamb and Prescott a bit befuddling for fans. 
Lamb is ideally hoping to join the quartet of receivers making an average annual north of $30 million. On top of this, but the time is winding down. The 25-year-old is slated to hit free agency in 2025 when his $14 million rookie deal expires, a contract that offered tremendous value to Dallas, but not to its all-pro receivers. On top of this, Tyler Gotten made dream come true despite illness. A lifelong dream was realized by Tyler Guyton on Sunday, August 11 at SoFi Stadium, where he officially took the field for the first time against an NFL opponent as a member of the Dallas Cowboys. The rookie's first round pick battling through the back end of an illness to take on the Los Angeles Rams in the preseason opener. Guyton missed the previous several practices as he fought his way back to full health. And while he's doing this week, I'm feeling good. He said after Sunday's matchup, I'm working my way back. Guyton outright refused to let his own body get in the way of something he's been manifesting in his mind since he was a young boy at ATX. This is mounted up and rode against the Rams, an amazing dream come true, he said for the first of many games he'll play in a Cowboys uniform. I've always wanted to wear the star and finally got to do it. I just thought about all the times I watched the Cowboys play. It's been really years and years of me watching and finally getting to play is super cool. So everyone, don't forget to sign up to BetUS. Their link will be in the description. And thank you as well to BetUS for sponsoring today's video. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.